Good morning everyone. Today we are going to learn about different parts of plants, leaves, stems, roots and how they help the plant to live, grow and reproduce. So in this slide, as you can see the objectives here. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to do these three things. First, you will be able to enumerate, means list down the different part of plants. Secondly, you will be able to describe the function of each part, means you will understand what each part of plant does to help the plant stay alive. And third, you will be able to explain the importance of each part of plant why the plant cannot survive without any of that part so let's begin our lesson into the amazing world of the plant so what are plants what are flowering plants plants are the living organisms that are able to produce their own food through the photosynthesis and they come in wide variety of shapes size and colors they have special parts that help them to survive and thrive they give color to our planet from space we can see where plants grow as you can see on this diagram of earth uh, where the dark green patches these are the rainforest the yellow for the grasslands and orange for the desert so flowering plants are all around us in different shapes size they make our planet look colorful and beautiful when we look from the space we can see the different patches green yellow and orange and these all color this shows where the different plants grow depending on the rainfalls so next is plant organs or you can say the parts of plants just like our body it has organs such as heart lungs liver the plant also have organs or you can say parts the main parts of the plants are leaves stems roots flowers each part or you can say organ has a special job to keep the plant alive so as you can see these are the parts of plant everything above the ground everything above the ground is the shoot system and everything below the ground is the root systems so let's dive into the shoot system this part that you see highlighted here is the stem or you can see the shoot system which provides structure to the plant and the stem is what support leaves flower birds fruits everything the stems also important for transportations it provide transport for food water nutrient so this is the parts of plants these are the roots stems leaves flower fruit and inside the fruit there are seeds so remember this is very important and uh, we will discuss about each part in detail in next slide so next is root 
what are the functions of roots roots are often found below the surface of soil their functions are to absorb water and nutrient from the ground they also anchor the plant in place and some roots they store the food and nutrient for the plant growth so next is stem stems they are also found above the ground they provide support to the plant by holding up leaves flowers buds and fruits they also transport water nutrient and mineral to different part of the plants leaves so next part of plant is leaves leaves are flat thin structure attached to the stem of plant they absorb the sunlight and produce food for the plant through the process of photosynthesis they also help regulate the exchange of gases with the surrounding next is flower it's a beautiful part of the plant they are characterized by the colorful petals and sweet fragrance they attract the pollinators like insect and birds that help in transfer of pollen from one flower to another the transfer of pollen leads to seed productions and they make seeds next is fruit fruit are important part of plant because they contain the seeds they protect and dispense the seed they also provide food for the animals they are typically sweet or tart in taste they can be eaten raw or cooked next is seed seeds are typically small often protected by a seed cord and contain a tiny undeveloped plant embryo along with the supply of stored food the embryo seed cord and stored food are all necessary for a new plant to grow and develop so some plants they have organs with the external functions like cactus does not have leaves instead it has spines to protect itself its green stems makes food and store water and as you can see this is the picture of mangrove mangrove plant roots grows upward to collect air since the soil is muddy and has very little oxygen in this slide we will discuss about uh, the plant which are parasitic in nature means uh, what we can say not all the plant can make their own food some plants like japanese dodder and hydrona africana these are the example of some parasitic plants the they uh, in japanese dodder they don't need leaves instead they steal food and uh, water from the other plants using sp special suckers these shows that plant can survive in many different ways so now let me ask you some questions let's think about some questions together number 1 why are most leaves broad and thin so students what do you think why they are broad and thin some leaves are broad and thin to catch more sunlight for the photosynthesis the second one is how do swollen stem help desert plant
because swollen stems store water helping desert plant survive by conditions so come to the next question that uh, why do roots spread underground like branches the roots spread out to absorb more water and keep the plant stable that's why they spread underground like branches the next and last question is why do stem have tubes inside the stems have tube like pipe to transport water and food so as we know plants have four organs or you can say plants have four parts each one has its own job some plants adapt with special or less organ to survive in harsh conditions it's not it amazing how plant adjust to different environment and uh, as i said before le uh, every part has its own functions each has special job like leaves are like kitchen of our plants they make food using sunlight and stems they act like a highway which carrying the water and food up and down root anchor the plant in the soil and absorb water and minerals and flowers are special because they make seeds so plant can reproduce so today we have learned about the parts of plants and their functions in the next class we will learn about the next chapter classification of plants into different types thank you for learning with me